Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? The guys over at the Creative Assembly were kind enough to sponsor today's video. So a huge thank you to them and their community team. The Creative Assembly approached me to do a highlight video on any Total War game or DLC of my choosing that I really cared about and enjoyed. I saw this as a win-win situation and accepted as I love Total War. The game I chose and that you really need in your life in 2020 is Total War Rome 2 Emperor Edition. Personally, as someone who has played thousands of hours and done hundreds of campaign let's plays of Total War on YouTube, Rome 2 is a game I routinely keep coming back to play, although it came out in 2013. Why I love the Rome 2 Emperor Edition and why you need it in your life is all to do with the time period, the battles and the massive sandbox nature of the campaigns, ensuring that every playthrough is different with satisfying campaign strategy, managing your faction and conquests through politics, trade, resource management, intrigue, revolts and betrayal. The battles themselves have a vast unit variety between factions, from sword, skirmisher to pike and cavalry combat with an assortment of following upgrades to maximize your playstyle. I really adore seeing my soldiers attire transform in battle and campaign in various Roman and Hellenic reforms. Only Warhammer 2 has a bigger unit diversity roster than Rome 2. Let's talk about the battles themselves in Rome 2. They are fought in numerous topographic locations from around the ancient world. From the mountains of Greece to the fields of Italy to the vast deserts of Egypt creating distinctive battles each time you play. As you progress throughout your campaign you will encounter siege fort, ambush, open field and naval battles which all can be won or lost through a variety of tactics and unique units at your disposal. You can approach these battles aggressively, defensively or even by using guerrilla warfare tactics. This all surrounded by incredibly and pleasingly atmospheric music and sounds of soldiers and their equipment clattering in war. In Total War Rome 2, Emperor Edition, not only do you get access to the fantastic main campaign starting in 272 BC from where you can play a variety of factions with unique starting locations, cultures and play styles from the Roman Republic leading up to the events of the Punic Wars against Carthage. To the Averni where you can carve out territory to become the king of the Gauls. To reforging Alexander's empire with numerous successor kingdoms from Macedon to Egypt just to name a few, battling against the Parthian East. There is a faction to suit everyone. In Total War Rome 2 Emperor Edition, you also get access for free, yes, for free, the Imperator Augustus campaign pack, which is set in one of my favorite antiquity periods, the fall of the Roman Republic. Starting in 42 BC, you were thrown into the turbulent time after Caesar's murder on the Senate floor. 
the fractured republic is split between three charismatic men who made up the fragile second triumvirate. Gaius Octavian, Caesar's adoptive son and great nephew, the heir to his legacy and importantly his assets. Octavian is a shrewd statesman and has a keen patrician mind in the campaign. A master tactician in both statecraft and warfare, can you fulfill Augustus's legacy? Mark Antony. Caesar's loyal friend and most trusted lieutenant. 20 years senior to Octavian, a veteran general under Caesar in the Gallic Wars. Steadfast, loyal and a superb general holding the title of Quaestor and the rank of Legate throughout his career. Can you, playing as Mark Antony, form a republic. And last but not least, you can't forget Lepidus, Pontiff Maximus of Rome, the man who secured Caesar's dictatorship, proconsul of Hispania Citeria. Lepidus distinguishes himself in both military and diplomatic matters. Caesar's last meal, the night before he was murdered, on the Senate floor was a guest at Lepidus's house. Can Rome follow the brazen bull? Or alternatively you can play and cause mayhem as one of the other non-Roman factions from the Marcomanni to the Dacians to the Parthians raiding and attacking a weakened Rome. The Emperor Edition is the definitive edition of Rome 2, featuring an improved political system, overhauled building chains, rebalanced battles and improved visuals in both campaign and battle. I haven't even mentioned the mods and multiplayer scene for this game. There are thousands of mods available, adding more and countless hours of replayability. My personal favourite being DEI, Divide et Impera, which is a total overhaul mod for Rome 2 that seeks to provide a challenging and realistic, lengthy experience of the ancient world and its warfare. Ideal for those who are meticulous and disciplined to play slow, methodical campaigns over multiple months. Adding further difficulty for veteran gamers. Divide et Impera was named the Creative Assembly's best overhaul mod in 2014 and the Creative Assembly's most innovative mod in 2015. So all this content that I've just laid out can be accessed in multiplayer cooperative campaigns as well, where you and a friend together or against can conquer the ancient world, along with custom online battles. Total War, Rome 2. Emperor Edition is currently sitting on a recent review and all review score of very positive on Steam. Seriously, you are really missing out on this game if you haven't picked it up yet. So I hope you enjoyed today's video guys and I've got to say a huge thank you to the Creative Assembly for sponsoring it. It really helps out and supports the channel. I've had a blast recording today's highlight and spotlight video. I could definitely see myself in the future doing more of this type of videos on other Total Wars. So let me know in the comments your feedback and suggestions in the comments. My name is Bean Simpsy. Take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Much love from Australia. Good bye.